Hey guys, this is Coach Marco Robert. Thank you so much for checking my channel. Guys, today I want to tell you something that is really dear to my heart, and it's the topic of how to better yourself in life. Hey guys, so, you know, if you're watching, this is probably because you, like me, are interested in bettering yourself in life. This is one of the most important topics in my personal life. You know, the it's the topic commonly known as personal development. And I'm going to tell you something. I would not be here today if I had not discovered personal development when I was in my early 20s. See, I grew up in a very small town in the middle of nowhere in Canada. I only spoke French most of my youth. Uh, and uh, it's until I discovered a man by the name of Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins, who basically kind of inspired me to basically invest in my own personal development when I was, when I was in my early 20s. That's when I started to believe in myself. That's when I started to explore myself. That's when I discovered myself. Tony was such a huge inspiration to me. Uh, and all the way through my 30s, I mean, I used to go to events. I've been to pretty much all of his events. Um, he's this amazing, amazing motivator who helped me, who, who motivated me to uh, explore myself and get to know myself. Honestly, guys, you know, I'm very fortunate and privileged to, to have lived in five countries. I speak several languages. I have clients in about 40 different countries. Uh, and uh, I, I live a pretty thriving life compared to the average person. And all of that is because starting in my 20s, I devoted a lot of time to my own personal development, right? So what does that mean? Well, one of the most important words that I've learned in my life is canny. C-A-N-I. Some people say can I, but canny. And it's a word that I learned from Tony Robbins and it stands for constant and never ending improvement constant and never ending improvement this is the path of life my friend that you want to be on this this devotion to your own constant and never ending improvement since then um, many many books have been written on the, uh, one of my favorite books is by an author named robert green g r e e n e Robert Greene, and he wrote a book called Mastery. And mastery is basically the same thing as constant and never-ending improvement. You know, a master is somebody who is devoted to their constant and never-ending improvement. A master is someone who is, first and foremost, a lifelong student, right? While masters will have, you know, apprentices and, and students themselves, but they are also lifelong students they're constantly trying to learn and grow <clears throat> and if you want to if you want to experience experience a deeper level of life you need to embark on the path of of mastery on the path of constant and never ending improvement right so what does that mean basically it means that you are constantly looking for ways to number one master your emotions you know understand yeah, this, you, you see there's people out there in the world that, you know, it starts raining, they're, they're unhappy, you know. Somebody gives them a kiss on the cheek, they're happy. You know, somebody says, uh, you know, X, Y, Z, they're unhappy. Somebody says, A, B, C, they're happy. <clears throat> in other words, depending on which way the wind of life shifts in their life, they're either happy or, not, or unhappy because they have not mastered their own emotions. So the goal of personal development, the goal of bettering yourself in life is to actually become better at mastering your emotions, number one. But that's not enough. Number two, you need to better yourself in terms of your physical prowess, you know, your physical abilities, your stamina. You need to have more energy. If you do not have more energy, you know, first of all, if you don't, let me just ask you this. Imagine, you know, you've been sitting on, couch, on the couch all day long, it's Saturday, you know, it's 5 p.m. You've been eating Cheetos and, and ice cream all day, right? And then binging on Netflix. How do you feel? How do you feel? 
at 5, 6 p.m. at the end of the day. And we've all done stuff like that, right? But how do you feel? You feel like crap. So how do you feel emotionally? Like crap. Why? Because you haven't treated your body like the temple it is. See, if you do not treat your body properly, if you do not figure out ways to have more energy and more stamina, it starts affecting your hormones. And your hormones affects your emotion. And then you feel like crap because your body is not keeping up. So very important that you focus on your body as well. Okay? Your personal development needs to include physical development. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not saying that you have to become Mr. Universe or some sort of a, a you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> but you want to be, you want to be fitter. You want to be, you want to be able to climb up, you know, a flight of stairs without actually being exhausted. Okay. So you need to take care of your body as well. Number three, you need to discover who you are. You know, the whole process of personal development is, is the, the process of self-discovery. You know, here's the funny thing. Most human beings have no freaking idea who they are. You know, who they think they are is based on the environment they grew up in. You know, if you grew up in Washington State, <clears throat> you're going to be very different than if you grew up in Bangladesh. Even if you have the same parents. Even if, you understand? Because the environment is very different. So again, most people allow the environment to define who they are. So the process of personal development is a process of learning to live your life with passion, learning to live your life with purpose, learning to live your life with direction, intention. You understand? So that you actually make a decision and then you explore life. You gain new perspectives. You know, you gain new understanding of life and then you start discovering who you are. You start understanding your own strengths. You start understanding your own weaknesses. And then you start leveraging your strengths to create more, to achieve more. Guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful process. Okay? But it's a, it's a process that starts with one thing. A commitment to bettering your life. You have to start with that. See, nobody else is going to make your life better but you. So you have to start with saying, hey, you know what? Okay, if I want my life to be better, I need to make my life better. And it's, I remember the day it happened for me. You know, I was in my early 20s. I had just discovered Tony Robbins. And I realized that who I was was 100% because of the decisions I personally had made in the past. In other words, I was 100% responsible for who I was. And I'm going to tell you guys, it was both the saddest day of my life and the happiest day of my life. Why? It was the saddest day because I realized that I could not blame anybody else anymore for my misfortunes in life. But it was also the happiest day because I realized that from that moment on, I could create and define my own future. And it was one of the most exhilarating moments of my life. The moment when not, I didn't understand it intellectually. I understood it viscerally that I was really responsible for everything in my life. And even though I had done some personal development before, that day is the day that basically sprung me forward. And I said, man, I, if my life is going to be interesting, I have to make it interesting myself. And I made a commitment to myself. And within five years, guys, my life had completely, completely changed. I was a completely different human being, right? So you need to devote yourself to your own self to understanding who you are to understanding your strengths your weaknesses and then to be willing and committed to playing life according to your own strengths according to your own rules life becomes really interesting at that point and then number four you know personal development is also a commitment towards understanding the world because see no man is an island as they say and so until you understand the world you live in, until you understand what it means to be a human being as a social being, what it means to be a human being as a philosophical being, what does it mean to be a human being as a psychological being? What does it mean to be a human being inside of an economic system, inside of a political system? Do you understand? Until you understand what it means to be a human being, you, you, you cannot be happy. Because you're not going to be able to interact with other human beings. You're not going to be able to influence other human beings. 
because you don't even know what it means to be a human being. It, it sounds funny, but I'm going to tell you, most human beings have no idea what it means to be a human being. So the process of personal development is just that. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I think the person who said it best is Oprah Winfrey. She was delivering the commencement address, I think it was at Harvard University, and you'll find, if you want, the video is actually here on YouTube. And she said it this way. She said, the purpose of living is to fulfill the highest expression of yourself. The purpose of living, of being a human being, is to fulfill the highest expression of yourself. Now, if she's right, I'm going to tell you something. The path to fulfilling the highest expression of yourself. The door that leads to fulfilling the highest expression of yourself is personal development. So I hope that you follow in my footsteps and in the footsteps of every human being that has accomplished more than averages on this planet and then that you embark on a path of self-fulfillment, on a path of self-discovery to better yourself, to better your life by committing to constant and never-ending improvements guys this is coach marco robert i hope you enjoyed this video again if you like these comments if you like these videos make sure that you actually subscribe to my channel make sure that you hit that little bell at the bottom of the video here that's so that's a way of telling youtube that you want to be notified every single time i create a new video and also make sure you leave me some comments i read all the comments and then i actually use them as suggestions for future videos as well you understand, guys, this is what I do for a living. The information I'm telling you here is the same information that I share with my clients around the world in over 40 different countries. So if you're interested, make sure you stay in touch with me. Also, in fact, I think I'm about to prop up another video right here. So don't miss out the next video. This is Coach Marco Robert. Take care. Guys, this is Coach Marco Robert. Remember... If you keep on doing what you've always done, you're gonna keep on getting what you've always gotten. Click on the next videos and continue your education.